Mmm, g'day, it's Rajik here, and welcome back to Arkham Horror. This is the next turn. I forgot what turn it is. Now, the sorry that it took so long to get around to doing this update on the on the game, but uh, like I said, I've been working on the the mod quite a bit. Big new updates about to come. Lots of improvements and fixes, and also I'm adding in all the guardians and heralds and stuff. But let's get this out of the way. Uh, for example, uh, these objects will now remember they won't automatically untap. So if you have them, if you save the game with them delayed, they'll stay delayed and stuff like that. It's so like the example of how it's improving over time. Yoink! Okay, let me try and recapture what we're doing here. We've got one, two sealed gates, and we've got one, two, three, four people in the outer worlds. Okay, so what we're trying to do here is do a mass closing on a single turn. So there's two turns to go. I might do both these turns simultaneously in this one video because basically there's not going to be a lot to do because these guys are just going to go one across. <laughs> okay. So, let's do it. We're starting with Skids O'Toole. Now, Skids O'Toole is going to move his fight up by two. And he's going to go, you blam. Yorick is here. Uh, he's just going to go one, two, three, and pick up uh, this clue. Yep. Oh, and he's also got a roll for his blessing. Yabamo, yablamo, pass. Okay, Rita, okay, these two people are both in Outer world, so Daisy's going to move up one, Rita's going to move up one, and she's at five, she's at five, that's perfect. Oh, wait, Daisy has all this crap, oh, well, I should probably do it properly. <laughs> I'm trying to go too fast. Okay, we'll roll for the retainer and give her extra money. Okay, she passes that. We will roll for Voice of Ra, which is four dice. Now, you don't generate movement points in the Outer World, so we can't use Tomes, which really sucks. But we have got Voice of Ra active. Okay, so... We have to roll for his blessing. Now, see how that's tapped? That means that we got it uh, last turn. Okay, we got a two, so we keep the blessing. That means we don't have to roll for the bank loan this turn. But now I've tapped it up, so I remember that. Okay, and he is not in an outer world. He's down here. Now, what do we want him to do? We'd like him to kill this cultist. We've been saving this cultist... He's sort of trapped in this bank, though, because of the Grug. What have we got for combat here? We've got tons of combat. Five. What's the Grug? Overwhelming. Two. Let's do this. Two stamina. We can do this. We're blessed. Not a problem. So he's going to go uh, one into downtown and fight this grug he has a will of negative one and he's at one will so i think what i'm going to do is we're just going to use his two focus to put his will up to two so we get to roll one dice and hopefully we'll pass this we are blessed after all it's a 50 50 chance yeah boy, boo. okay so we fail that so that's fine so let's lose two stamina to sanity and now we've got to do the fight i caught confused glimpses of a terribly wrong angled mouth i love that phrasing wrong angled mouth multi-jointed arms and protruding eyes as big as a man's head <laughs> okay uh so we have pretty much this is just plus five and this is plus five so we'll just use the plus five so that's five six seven Minus two, five die, we need three hits. Well, we only actually need two hits. Oh, bam! That is one shock under the face. But he has overwhelming, so we do lose one stamina anyway. Okay, meanwhile, this bloke 
he's down here. Uh, I guess he's just going to go one, two into the administration building. Yeah, he's going to go one, two into the administration building and pass his cash off to her. And I think that's all he's going to bother with. This chick is in an outer world, so she just goes here, Blanc. And Angie is going to go one, two, three, four to the curiosity shop take a stamina damage, and that's that. Okay, let's do the thing I move. So we roll for the woods, you blammo. You come across a cringing dog. Pass a speed minus two check. Our speed is one, so that's an automatic fail. Uh, we, I'm not gonna spend tokens on that because he might not be in the deck. Okay, George is in downtown streets, so he doesn't do anything. Michael is at the administration building, yablamo. Discuss the opportunity to sell a monograph with the president of the university. Pass a law minus one check to make the sale and gain $5. Our law is zero, so that is another fail. Oh wait, we can use this thing though. Exhaust instead of spending a clue token. So we'll just get to roll one dice. Yablamo! Come on, this would be a nice little uh, reward for nothing. No. And we're going to go one, two, three. And what you got for us? Oh, we're going to buy that. So that is seven bucks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Beautiful. Okay, now we're doing other world encounters, starting with a schizo tool, yablamo. Plato of Lang, your mind and body are toughened by your experiences. Pass a will zero check to draw one skill. Now, see how it says two in brackets? That means we actually need two successes to pass this. So I don't know if we've seen that before in, in the games I've played on the channel yet. But anyway, so we need two successes. We are will of zero so that is, oh wait, have we got any plus will over here? Plus law? Nope. So that's an automatic fail. Doesn't do anything, so it doesn't matter. Meanwhile, over this side of the world, you blemo. She's in the abyss. The stone arch breaks. Pass a speed minus one check to dive out of the way or roll a die and lose that much stamina. Okay, we have five stamina, so we want to pass this. It's a speed minus one, so that's four. I think we'll pass this with any luck. Come on. Whoa! Okay, I've got research materials. I'll discard that instead of spending a clue token. Come on. You can do it. Oh, brilliant. So we get past that and we kept our five clues for closing the gate. Yablamo for you, you're in the dreamlands. At the south gate of Thran, you are stopped by a red robed sentry until you can tell three dreams beyond belief. Pass a luck minus one check to tour the golden spires of Thran, gaining two clue tokens in the process. If you fail, stay here next turn. Okay, our luck is one, and it's a luck minus one check. So we really don't want to fail this. So let's, uh, so... There's nothing we can do to help this. Okay, so you know what's interesting here? Pass a luck minus one check. I've got this thing here that says foresee. Cast an exhaust to re-roll one skill check now if i spend clue so at the moment it's an automatic fail but if i spend one clue right it'll uh allow me to roll another die but if i do for c after i've added a clue do i still only get to roll my original skill check pool of dice which would be zero in this case I'm really not sure. Hopefully we will actually pass this 
and we won't need to worry about because we need this uh, these five clues because I do not want to be left behind. Go! Go! You can do it. You can do it! Oh, oh beautiful. Whew. That was an excellent roll. Very, very happy. And finally, we have this girly will. Yablamo, she is in another dimension. You are not safe here. A monster appears. Okay. Yablam. Oh, it's a vampire. Undead and physical resistance. Now, what have we got here? Okay, so this will give us five dice. I could just do Mist of Liar. That would give us three. Okay, so yeah, let's, let's fight this guy. So the first thing we need to do is check out how horrific he is to look at, which is a zero modifier on our will. So we get to roll four dice. Oh, you know, I should have sent Angie to go bless someone. Oh, I'm an idiot. Okay, we did pass that. And now I'm going to do Storm of Spirits, which is a sanity cost of zero and a negative one modifier. And we've got plus one law. So that is five die. Come on. Come on, I'd like two successes, please. Oh, oh, there's a whole heap of successes. So this thing here says if we have two or more successes, we get to uh, tap it and everyone gains a sanity. So that is one sanity to you and one sanity to she's at max. And now we actually roll for the combat, which is six law plus one, two, three, because this is a way out to lose our law instead of our fight. Plus we get three, plus we get two for the hands, one, two. That's 11 minus three, one, two, three. We need two successes of eight dice. So hopefully this will be a pass a Rooney. And there's three, bammo. Dead, undead. Look, we, he's, she's an undead killer. Both her trophies are undead. Okay, so we've got a real problem here. Uh, I got her ability confused with Agnes. Now, Agnes is the character that has the ability that allows you to use her hand icons of the spells as die, not uh, this chick. So it's kind of screwed up everything. Now, I could go load up the mod and do another roll and see what happens. But the thing is, if I fail this roll, she'll get knocked out. She'll either have to take an injury card and get teleported to the hospital, which means you can't close the gate, or I will pass. Now the problem is, is that I've done like a whole other turn after this already and I'm in the ready to edit it. And uh, unfortunately, I just don't want to uh, extend the game. You know, I mean, I could go do the rolling, but basically if I don't, if I don't pass this roll, the entire next turn is invalidated. So I'm just going to live with this mistake and have to be more careful next time. So sorry about that. That's a real bummer. That's probably the the first real unreversible error I've made in the last uh, couple of games of AH I've played online. So uh, sorry about that. But we're going to keep soldiering on. <laughs> Oops. And Angie has already done her thing. I really screwed her up. One, two, three... Four. Oh well. I won't get to bless anyone next turn. That's terrible. Okay, that's the end of that. Mythos phase. Yablamo. Oh, excellent. So we got rid of brawling in the streets, which will be good for uh, this guy who's in the streets. Okay, the unnameable again. That has a token there so that's nothing happens we got no monsters to move or place we've killed every monster in arkham clue appears at the woods and uh yorick is actually there already so he just gets a clue environmental urban investigators who end their movement in the north side streets gain one clue token from the sinister wonders they witness but they must pass a will minus one check or lose a sanity. Drake's carnival arrives. Ooh. So the magician's in town. Okay, I'm just going to go straight into the next turn because I'm pretty sure we're going to finish the game this turn unless there's some kind of huge disaster, which is possible, but hopefully not going to happen. Okay, Yorick, he rolls one blessing. 
your blammo and a la blammo blammo. Oh, he gets a one, so that's actually gone. And I guess he's just going to go one, two, three to South Church. Why not? Meanwhile, Rita gets another two bucks and rolls a die. And she comes back to which, where was she? She was at the abyss, which is here. Daisy rolls for Voice of Ra, which is, I, I didn't roll nearly enough dice last time. So it's actually five dice plus two plus one. So that's another three. One, two, three minus one. That's seven dice. Okay, so that's a pass. She's now plus one on everything. And she generates, she doesn't generate movement points still, but she's coming back to Dreamlands, which is down here. And we may as well just kill this guy. I was saving him, but I'm not going to get a chance to actually give him, I'm not going to get a chance for this guy to kill this bloke. So let's just get rid of him. There's no sanity test. And actually we won't fight him. I keep giving away all her weapons, so... Anyway, because she came out of the gate, she's got the Explore token. That means she doesn't need to fight this guy this turn. Okay, George. He has to roll once for the Blessing. Bamo and Le Blamo. And then once for the Bank Loan. Yeah, Blamo. That's a pass as well. And he's going to go one, two, one, two, three, four. No, no. Where, where's he going? One, two, three, four. He's only got three movement. One, two, three. So he's going to go three to French Hills. And then Michael is going to go one, two, three to the witch house, pick up the elder sign on the way from George and drop it off at Rita. And then this girl is going to come out of the abyss, but she's going to end up at the great hall of Selenio because she has the gate box allowing her to just choose wherever. And Angie, I guess, is just going to stay where she is. And Skids is also going to come out. He's coming out and going to the Platter of Lang. Yunk. Okay, so Yorick is in South Church. So as long as the gate doesn't open any of these, we'll be fine. You could swear a drainpipe gargoyle moved, lose a sanity. Uh, she's at the witch house. So she just hands in her elder sign, which is one sanity, one stamina. Oh, that uh, actually goes to the, I keep forgetting that the, these things go to the game box. Oh, how do I do it again? Yeah, it's that button. <laughs> I do it so rarely I forget the hotkey I set for it. Okay. Uh, anyway, the point is we have done this and that is closed. And also we used an older sign, so this thing gets destroyed. And now Daisy's turn. She is also at a gate. Now she's going to use law to close her gate. So she's actually... Five law plus two law, which gives us seven law, and the Dreamlands itself has plus one. So that's eight law to get one success. Bam. Okay, that is a pass. Oh, I don't know 
why that sometimes happens. I have to figure that out. Okay, so that is also closed. Now George is in the street. Michael is actually at the witch house. Uh, now that the gate is gone, he doesn't get sucked through. Instead, he draws a witch house card. Excuse me, stranger, but have you ever seen this symbol before? A man standing near the house holds up an occult symbol. Make a law minus one check. If you pass, the man introduces himself as Thomas F. Malone, a police detective visiting Arkham on a case. He's impressed with you and offers to join you. Take his ally card if it's available. If it's not available, he tells you some valuable information. Instead, gain two clue tokens. Okay, so our law is zero, but we're going to use this to get a free clue. And your blammo. Why not? Why not, I say. Come on! Ugh. Oh, let's do it again. The game's over, so we just, I don't care about spending my clues. I just want to get the, the guy. The guy, man. Whoa! Gee, that was a terrible fail. Okay, so he doesn't get anything. You bunk. Okay, she is also at the gate. She also has an elder sign, so that is minus one, minus one stamina, minus one sanity. Send this back to the box. Remove a doom token. And she gets this. Bamo. Okay, and what's even more fun is we actually have completed her thing if she has three gate trophies. So I'll just do this. The bones of the earth were strong here in Arkham. They responded to her queries with a quivering eagerness that almost made her nervous. But she knew that there was an advantage that she couldn't afford to squander. She would need all the power to face the old one. The bones of the earth spoke to her then, telling her the secrets of how she might be able to defeat the old one, if she were cautious and lucky. Place a clue token in every unstable location without a gate. Okay, so unstable locations are the ones with the little red dots. So we have Independence Square gets a, gets a thingo. Roadhouse. Unvisited Isle. Unnameable. Graveyard. Black Cave. Science Building. Witch House. Twilight Lodge the woods and the historical society i think that's it beautiful and of course a lot of that will be hoovered up by people uh because there's or he's already there so this just goes straight to him and he is also going to close the gate yeah blammo oh have i done angie i haven't done angie yet one two three Bam, that costs two bucks. Okay, back to the important stuff. We're at the graveyard. Here's five fight. And that's it. Minus one for Plato Lang. So he's got four dice to get one success. He does. So that is one, two, three, four, five clues he spends. And that is also gone. Uh, question is, do I spend, she has five clues to spend. Who else closed? She is, Okay, so she, Rita used her Elder Sign, she used five clues, she used an Elder Sign, and he used five clues. Okay, so that's that. And that, my friends, is the end of the game. We have one, two, three, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six Elder Signs done. And uh, 
that's pretty much it. If I just pull this up so they're a bit easier to see. Whoop. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five, six. And that is it. We only need six to win. And that is another Elder God sent to the grave. Or at least it closed up on them. Whew. Well, that was a bit of a long sesh, a long video, whatever you call it. But uh, I just wanted to get this out of the way and finished. I will be doing another one shortly, but it will be one where I'm going to be using Heralds and Guardians to test out the next stage of the mod. And that is that. I will see you guys next time.